As software companies explore integrated or embedded payment strategies, becoming a payment facilitator is an option many software companies should carefully consider. Today, we're gonna to delve into what a PayFAC is, the pros and cons, outline the registration process, some of the core responsibilities, the upfront and ongoing costs, the compliance and legal requirements, and to answer the ultimate question, when does it make sense for a software company to register as a PayFAC? So to begin, let's define what a payment facilitator is. A payment facilitator or PayFAC is an entity that simplifies the payment process for merchants by providing a single point of access to multiple payment methods and often a very seamless integration with their existing software. PayFAC sign agreements with acquiring banks and card networks, enabling them to onboard and underwrite merchants directly, manage transaction processing, and handle chargebacks and risk mitigation. So here are the pros of operating and registering as a payment facilitator. First, faster merchant onboarding. Payfax can onboard merchants extremely quick, often within minutes, by leveraging their existing relationships with banks and card networks. This can be particularly attractive for software companies looking to offer a more seamless user experience. Number two is greater control over the payment process. Becoming a PayFAC allows software companies to maintain control over the entire payment process, including transaction processing, settlement, and customer support. This can lead to better customer experiences and foster brand loyalty. Number three, obviously, is new revenue streams. As a PayFAC, software companies can generate new revenue streams by charging transaction fees, offering additional value-added services, or bundling payment processing with other of their core software features. And fourth is competitive advantage. Offering integrated payment solutions as a PayFAC can differentiate a software company from its competitors, potentially leading to increased market share and customer retention. So here are the cons of becoming a PayFAC. One is increased responsibility. Becoming a PayFAC requires software companies to assume more responsibility for managing risk, underwriting, and handling chargebacks. This can require significant investment in personnel, infrastructure, and technology builds. Second is regulatory compliance. PayFAX must comply with a variety of regulatory requirements, including anti-money laundering, AML, and know your customer KYC policies. This can be consuming and expensive. Third is financial investment. The costs associated with becoming a PayFAC, including registration fees, ongoing compliance expenses, and maintaining the necessary technology infrastructure can be quite significant. So here's the registration process. The process of becoming a PayFAC typically involves the following steps. One, assessing feasibility. Software companies should first assess whether becoming a PayFAC aligns with their business goals, resources, and risk tolerance. Second is selecting an acquiring bank. PayFacs need to partner with an acquiring bank to process payments. This relationship is absolutely essential and crucial, so choosing the right bank is important. Three, completing the application process. Software companies must submit an application to the acquiring bank, which includes information about the company's financials, ownership, and business model. And last is implementing technology and infrastructure. Once approved, software companies need to establish the technology and infrastructure required to handle payment processing operations like risk management, compliance, underwriting, and onboarding. So here's some of the responsibilities of operating as a PayFAC. One, merchant underwriting and onboarding. PayFAX must establish processes for screening, onboarding, and underwriting new merchants. Second is risk management. PayFAX must monitor transactions, identify and mitigate fraud, and handle chargebacks. Three is compliance. PayFAX are responsible for maintaining compliance with applicable regulatory requirements, including AML and KYC. And fourth is customer support. PayFAX must provide support to merchants and end users, including troubleshooting and resolving any payment related issues. So here are the costs involved with becoming a PayFAC. One, registration fees. Acquiring banks may charge a one-time registration fee, which can range from a few thousand dollars to tens of thousands of dollars, depending on the bank and the company's risk profile. Number two is ongoing fees. Payfax must pay ongoing fees to their acquiring bank and card networks. These fees can include transaction processing fees, interchange fees, and other related costs. Third is compliance fees. 
Maintaining compliance with regulatory requirements can be expensive, as it may involve hiring dedicated personnel, investing in technology, and conducting regular audits. And last is infrastructure investment. Establishing and maintaining the technology infrastructure required for payment processing, risk management, and customer support can be costly. Next is compliance and legal requirements. Payfax must comply with a variety of legal and regulatory requirements, including one, Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, or PCI DSS. Payfax must maintain compliance with PCI DSS, which outlines security requirements for storing, processing, and transmitting sensitive credit card holder data. Second is anti-Monday laundering or AML and know your customer regulations. Payfax must implement processes to comply with AML and KYC regulations, which include verifying the identity of merchants and monitoring transactions for suspicious activity. And last is card network rules. Payfax must adhere to the rules established by card networks, such as Visa and MasterCard, which govern transaction processing, chargebacks, and other aspects of the payment process. So here's the ultimate question. When does it make sense to register as a payment facilitator? Becoming a Payfax makes sense for software companies when the potential revenue from payment processing and value added services outweighs the costs associated with becoming a Payfax and operating as a Payfax. Two, the company has the resources and expertise to manage the responsibilities and severe risks associated with becoming a Payfax. And third, the company's target market demands a seamless integrated payment solution and becoming a Payfax provides that competitive advantage. So for software companies considering payment facilitator registration, it's essential to weigh the benefits against the cost and responsibilities involved. While becoming a Payfax can open up new revenue streams and provide a competitive advantage, it also requires significant investment in infrastructure, personnel, and compliance efforts. By carefully evaluating your business goals, the resources that you have, the target market that you service, software companies can make informed decisions about whether registering as a Payfax is the right strategic move for their business. For more tips, insights, and strategies to elevate and maximize the value of your integrated payment strategy, visit us at next.io.